Hello and welcome back to Otis Style Minute, the place to be to create an outfit that'll make you feel confident. If you're wondering what your body type and body shape is, I have a calculator down below that'll guide you through how to dress for your body shape. But today I wanted to talk about your vertical body shape. So, you know, typically we talk about the apple shape and the pear shape and et cetera, et cetera. Today I wanted to talk to you about your vertical body shape. And what if you have shorter legs? So you could be petite uh, with long legs or petite with short legs, or you could be actually be tall with short legs and tall with long legs, right? So what if you have short legs and what if you want to elongate your legs? And first of all, why would you even want to elongate your legs? Why would you want to look like you have longer legs? Because it makes you look slimmer and it makes you look taller. So if you're already tall, you're super lucky. If you're not tall, and you want to look taller. I'm not petite personally, but I always want to make myself look taller. And so I'm following these tips myself on how to dress so your legs don't look shorter, your legs look longer. And I'm going to be sharing with you five tips in this video. So for tip number one, and you probably already know this intuitively, but I feel like most of us make this mistake. And the first tip is to wear a high rise pant versus a low rise pant. Well, what if I have a tummy and I'm trying to disguise it? Don't I want to pull my t-shirt over my tummy to disguise it? But check out this image here. I mean, this lady doesn't look super, super thin. Um, she's probably curvier. And what do you do? I mean, you can just get a great pair of trousers with, the, with a nice tummy support and you can still wear a high rise. You could, of course, still cover your uh, tummy and wear like a monochromatic outfit that looks great and layer over it but what you want to avoid doing is wearing kind of a longer shirt uh, that's shapeless and to make your legs look shorter so that's tip number one is a high-rise pant and that goes also for shorts and for skirt Tip number two is you want to avoid folded hemlines on your pants. Now, I know it's frustrating because typically when you uh, buy pants, they are maybe too long for you, but folding them, and especially you have that kind of cuff on the bottom, it breaks the leg and it doesn't look as slim because it kind of has like a little bit of that um, extra frump down at the bottom, if you will. Even for longer legs and taller women, I don't think it looks super elegant um, to have like that extra fabric down at the bottom. But especially if you have shorter legs, you want to hem your pants and so it's just nice and seamless um, and it just elongates your leg line. And you could also, of course, wear like a little wedge and a straight line pant and it just looks fantastic. If you are wearing dresses and you're trying to shorten dresses, a little tip is to add a belt. You can add an auto collection belt and actually if you have like a maxi dress and you belt it, you belt it over the top and it actually pulls up the hem right there for you and it makes it shorter without you having to hem dresses. So there's a great tip there for you as well, a little bonus tip. So again, all of this is about creating an illusion, right? And you want to draw attention up instead of down. So for tip number three is you want to avoid a drop waist. This could be a drop waist uh, dress or even a tunic. So a drop waist basically means it's a drop waist and your waist looks like it's lower. So what does that mean? It makes your torso look longer, but your, it makes your legs look shorter. So if you want to create the illusion that you have longer legs, you definitely want to avoid that. Tip number four is avoid tunics in general. If you have shorter legs and you're going to add length to your top, your legs are just gonna look shorter. I get that this is a little look and I think you could pull it off, I think it's cute, but if you want to look, if you want to create that illusion of longer legs, then a shorter top is just a better fit. And my last tip, the fifth tip for you, is to avoid also a mid kind of blazer. So I think I say mid because maybe a long, long, long kind of draping blazer could look very elegant because it does elongate and it could look really pretty. But one of those like mid size, kind of like a boyfriend jacket blazer, those tend to actually make you look shorter. There is a way to pull it off if you wear maybe monochromatic underneath and everything's more fitted. However, I highly suggest if you have shorter legs to wear a more cropped kind of blazer, it'll make your legs look longer. Again, drawing the attention up. That's what our focus is on. There you have it, five things to avoid if you have shorter legs and how to elongate your legs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Otis Style Minute.